guys welcome back to my channel for today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this straw bucket hat it's perfect for the summertime i will have the full written pattern available on my patreon the link will be in my description box but let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so for this tutorial i'm going to be using this paper yarn i did find this in japan so i'm not sure where you would be able to find this exact brand however it is just kind of like any other basic straw yarn that you can find at your craft store this looks like a medium weight three to four you could also just use a 100 percent cotton yarn in place of this and it would work just fine and i will also have the full written pattern available on my patreon so i'm going to be taking a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook so to get started, I'm just going to begin with a slip knot. Begin by chaining three. So now that I've chained three, I'm gonna place my hook through that first chain of the row and I'm gonna place one single crochet. Then I'm gonna go back through the entire circle and I'm gonna be placing a total of six single crochet through this. And then you can just pull on the tail to tighten the circle together. So now I'm going to place my hook through that very first chain of the round. So I'm going to finish off this first round with a slip stitch. Now um, we are going to be working in rounds. So if you would like, you can use a stitch marker just so you don't lose your place for the first chain of the, of the round. Basically for the first two rows, we are just going to be increasing um, and we're going to be working in single crochet. So that first round had a total of six stitches. The second round will have a total of 12 stitches. And then in the third round, we are going to be increasing every other stitch. So um, for now, we're just going to chain one to bring up the work. And then I'm just going to be placing my hook through that very first chain of the row and I'm going to be placing a total of two single crochet. And then in the next chain, place a total of two single crochet. And then just continue increasing in every chain until you make it back to that first chain of the round. So now I've made it back, I'm just going to be placing my hook through that very first chain and creating a slip stitch to join the round together. And then for round three, I'm going to chain one. So round three, um, for the very first chain of the row, I'm just, I'm going to increase. So I'm going to place two single crochet through that chain for the very next chain. I'm going to just place one single crochet and then increase in the chain after with two single crochet. So you're going to increase every other chain in this round and at the end of the round you will have a total of 18 stitches. So I'm just going to finish off round three. So now I've made it to the end of the round, I'm just going to place a slip stitch in that very first chain of round three. So then for round four, you're just going to chain one and increase on that first chain by placing two single crochet through that first chain of the row. 
And then for this round, you are going to place one single crochet in each of the next two chains. And then you're going to repeat that for the remainder of the row. So then place one increase in the next chain and then one single crochet in each of the next two chains and repeat that for the remainder of the row. So now I'm on round five, I just chained one, then I'm placing my increase in that first chain of the row, and then for each of the next three chains, I'm placing one single crochet per chain. And then I'm repeating that sequence for the remainder of this round. And then you just connect the end of the round with a slip stitch. And then at the end of this round, you will have a total of 30 stitches. Okay, so now I'm on round six. So chain one. This first stitch gets two single crochet. And then the next four chains is just one single crochet. Then the next one gets two, and then you have a straightaway of four. So just repeat that for the remainder of the round and connect with a slip stitch. Okay, now I'm on round seven. Seven! So I'm just gonna do increase, and then a straightaway of five. So just repeat that for the remainder of the round and connect with a slip stitch. So now I'm on round eight. I'm gonna chain one. In this first single crochet of the round, I'm gonna place an increase. And then for the next six chains, I'm just gonna place one single crochet per chain. So just repeat that sequence for the remainder of the round and connect with a slip stitch to that first chain of the round. And at the end of this, you'll have a total of 48 stitches. So now I'm on round nine. So I'm just going to be placing one increase in that first chain. And then you do a straight away of seven with just one single crochet per chain. Then you repeat for the remainder of the row. So now we are beginning round 10 and I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead through round 11. For round 10, we do an increase on that first chain and then do a straightaway of eight. On round 11, you do an increase and then a straightaway of nine. So now I have finished off with round 11. You can continue going and I have the written pattern in my Patreon, but you do want the diameter of this to measure six and a half and you don't want it to be larger than that just because then it would just be way too big. So for this row, we're going to begin working almost in kind of like rows, not rounds. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to flip it over. So up until now, we've been working only on one side and it has a really nice pattern to it, but to kind of break up the pattern for the middle, we're gonna be alternating. So I'm actually gonna work backwards. I'm gonna skip over that very first chain in the row and go in the chain after with the single crochet. And I'm just gonna place one single crochet per chain until I make my way all the way around. So now I've made my way back to the beginning of the round. I'm just going to attach it to that very first chain with a slip stitch to complete the round and i'm going to chain one and i'm going to flip it over again so we're going to be alternating flipping the hat over every time i'm going to do a total of four rows so that's going to include this first row that we did the first row of the middle portion so i'm going to do three more rows of this so now i have done four rows of just basic single crochet and as you can see the hat is starting to take its shape 
So we are going to just be continuing uh, Basic Rosa's single crochet, except we will be adding increases slowly. So um, for the next row, I am going to increase just twice. So I'm gonna increase on the first two chains, crochet my way all the way around, increase on the opposite side, and then finish off the round. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So for an increase, you just place your hook through the chain, yarn over, pull through, and then just place one more additional one in there, the same chain. So then I'm going to crochet my way around to the opposite side um, and then place one more increase on the opposite side. So now I have finished that fifth row and I just added a slip stitch to join the round together. Um, I am going to be switching colors at this point. This is optional, you can do the hat all in one color, but I do have this multicolored pink and yellow yarn, so I will just be attaching it. So I'm going to take both the working yarn and the new yarn on the hook and create the slip stitch. And now I am just going to, I'm going to let go of the tail of the previous yarn and just continue off with the new color and chain one. Now I can flip over since we are alternating the direction of the row. I'm just going to flip it over and begin. I'm going to do one row with no increase and then I'll be back to show you what's next. So now I have finished the first row of my secondary color. Um, I am going to do one more row of increase and then I'm going to do probably another three rows of just regular. But for this row of increase, I've already chained one um, after my slip stitch and I am going to turn it so that I'm working on the opposite side because we are alternating every row. So then I'm just gonna go through that first chain with an increase. So I'm gonna place a total of two single crochet through that chain. And then I'm gonna do a straight away of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna do a straight away of 19 and then I'm gonna place an increase. And then I'm going to do another straightaway of 19 and then I'm going to increase and then I'm going to do the remaining straightaway. So you should have a total of three increases. However, that ends off on the end, it's okay. If you have one less or one more increase, it will still work just the same. So now I'm going to do my straightaway of 19, then I'm going to place an increase and I'm going to repeat for the remainder of the round. So now I've made my way to the end. So I'm just gonna join it through that first chain with a slip stitch. Then I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna flip it over. And now I am just gonna do basic row of single crochet with no increase. And I'm gonna do that for a total of three rounds. So I'm gonna just speed through the next three rounds and I will be back. So I actually just finished that last I just finished that last round and I want to switch back to my original color so I'm going to do stripes of colors. I'm going to switch back the same way that I did previously so I'm just going to slip stitch with both colors and then just continue with um, the color that you want to switch to for the chain one. So now I'm gonna finish off the last, I'm gonna finish off the next two rows with just regular single crochet and I'll be back to show you what's next. So now I finished with two plain rows of single crochet in my first color. I'm gonna do one more um, in this color and then I'm gonna switch back to the second color. But for the next row, or the next round, I am going to be doing increases. And it's gonna be the same exact increase row as the one that was previously. So now I'm gonna do an increase in that very first chain. I'm gonna do a straightaway of 20, and then I'm gonna do an increase. And I'm gonna repeat that for the remainder of this row. 
So now I have switched back to my second color and I've chained one and I flipped it over. I'm going to do a total of three rows with no increase. So I will be back once I am done. So now I've done the additional three rows of color and I'm going to stop here for the middle section. It depends on how large you need your hat, but it should touch about the top of your ears. So that's a good enough size for me. So now I'm going to switch back to, um, to my color number one and then I'm going to get started on the brim. Just attached my first color and I'm gonna get started on the brim so for this portion um, or this first row of the brim we are going to be crocheting through the front loops only so that is going to be this front loop not the back loop and not both of them I'm just gonna place my hook directly through that very first chain front loop only with a single crochet and I'm gonna do an increase on that very first chain so front loop only, and then I'm going to do a straight away of 10. So that's one single crochet per chain front loop only for this first round of the brim. So now I've done a straightaway of 10. I'm gonna do another increase. So I'm gonna do an increase every 10 single crochet. So I'm just gonna continue that pattern, making my way all the way around the hat. So now I've finished that first row of the brim and I have attached it with a slip stitch. So for this next row, I'm going to just go through the regular row just chain one, flip it over, and I'm just gonna go through, not front loops anymore, just placing one single crochet in each of the first 15 chains, and then I'm gonna increase. Now that I've done the first 15 single crochets, I'm gonna increase on the next chain. Two single crochet in that chain, and then I'm gonna do another 15 of just basic single crochet and I'm gonna increase. I'm gonna repeat this for this row. So now I've finished with that second row of the brim. Um, I attached it with a slip stitch. Just gonna chain one, flip it over. And for the next row, there's no increase. You're just gonna do one single crochet per chain. So now I've finished with that third row. I am gonna get started on the next row chain one, flip it over, and for this row, we're gonna begin with an increase. And then we're gonna do a straight away of 16 and then increase. So I'm gonna repeat that portion all the way around. So I just finished that last row of increase. So I am gonna finish off my my slip stitch but I am going to switch back to my color too so I'm just going to do that while I do the slip stitch and then just continue off with your color too for the chain one. I'm going to flip over the work and for this next row we are going to do just a basic row with no increase. And then the row after that, we're gonna do an increase and then a straightaway of 17 and then an increase. So I'm gonna go through the next two rows and I'll come back once I've finished. So now I'm back. I've done um, two rows, one just a regular row and one with the increase every 17 chains. Um, and so now, we are nearing the end of the tutorial. Um, I just chained one, I'm gonna flip it. And I'm just gonna do one more row of basic single crochet all the way around. You can continue the brim for as long as you would like, but I'm just gonna stop there because I want it to be more of a bucket style hat, but um, you can just continue it for as long as you would like, essentially, so. 
yeah i'm just gonna do one more row and then that's gonna be it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed again i have um the full written pattern available on my patreon and then you're welcome to message me down below in the comments if you have any questions so i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you in my next video